chances of rain the next few days and it's much needed across the area on Saturday though we're issuing a first alert weather day as I expect that we'll see a few severe storms in our area with all threats uh, morning showers and thunderstorms a little break in the midday hour to destabilize the atmosphere and then storms coming up with a low pressure system that'll be spinning through. Here's what it looks like on the European model. Those morning showers exiting the break midday and then from the south. So our chances on Saturday in the afternoon and evening hours will mainly be in our southern counties with lower risk for severe weather up north. So you know, several days of rain are in the forecast. We won't all get rain each and every day, but many of us by the time we get through the weekend will have hopefully something in the rain gauge because we have a lot of areas that need it and we're not done tonight. The showers and thunder showers that move through the FM area are working their way north through the central Red River Valley moving into Hillsboro right now. A couple bolts of lightning with that. Otherwise, it's just a good old fashioned shower. Our risk for severe very, very low as we go through the evening and overnight hours. Uh, Crookston, Western Polk County seeing some showers moving into the Red Lake County area right now. So if you're in oh upwards of Plummer and Red Lake Falls, a good chance of some showers moving out of the Mentor area. Oakley, you have a shower, a thunder shower right over you. Those could have some winds, but not like this one. See this backward C shape here. That's called a bow echo. That would be indicative of where the strongest winds are and the winds are going in the direction that bow is pointing. So gusty storms along the South Dakota border. I think the risk of severe weather stays out there tonight, but all of this is heading our way overnight and we'll have a chance at even more rain in the rain gauges across the valley. It's 73 north wind, eight miles per hour. Your relative humidity 76%. Here's where the showers and thunder showers go to the north tonight as we head through the overnight hours. Temperature slip down into the 60s. Again, watch what happens out of the west. Moving in towards daybreak, we'll have a chance at a few showers and rumbles of thunder. Again, in a similar area out to the west and into northwest parts of Minnesota. Here in the Southern Valley, a lower risk first thing in the morning, but our chances do increase as we go through mid morning. I pause this at around 1045 and the Southern Valley will have a chance at some hit and miss thunder showers. Again, not everybody gets the thunder showers. Just like today, we got oh five hundreds here in the uh, old rain gauge in the southern part of Fargo at the station with much more just north of town. All right, the shower chances moving east kind of fall apart. Your temperatures will be near 80 to 85 here in the southern valley, but closer to 70 in the far north as a cool pool will move in with north winds. So morning will be the showery part. By the afternoon, we start clearing. The best time of the day will be late. Good chance of barbecuing is my guess one to three inches of rain out to the west in isolated spots. Otherwise, some widespread several tenths of an inch possible here in the Southern Valley, a little bit lower. Now we'll have more rain on your uh, Friday and some of those storms could be strong. We'll have details on your first alert weather day throughout on the Valley News Live weather app, uh, app on Saturday. Showers exit on Sunday, so each and every day bringing a chance of some beneficial rainfall. Hopefully you get a little bit on your dry. Grass 70 to start the day 86 in the afternoon. Best chance of showers and thunder showers in Fargo will be in the mid morning hours. As we discussed, your weather app will come in handy and we'll keep you advised. We do have this fancy cloud that's uh, rolling through. That's why we call that a roll cloud. It's not attached to the parent thunderstorm. Let's take a look at your planning forecast as we go through your hours here. We're looking at temperatures that are going to stay on the warm side and I do want to uh, go ahead and pull out my proceed. Three day farming forecast 85 degrees with a first alert weather day on Saturday again each and every day bringing some scattered showers and thunder showers. The rest of the weekend looks cool Sunday and then the heat is back on next week. Uh, we do have intermittent shower chances, but our best bet is going to be over the next four days. We could use some rain. Indeed. Yeah, thanks. Hutch.